Hello YouTube, this is Jesse from Time APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this set of tutorials, I'm very excited about this uh, playlist and this set of tutorials because we're going to be integrating a lot of things that we've been working together over the next, you know, last couple of years. Uh, we're going to be integrating what we've learned in OpenCV uh, with OpenGL, uh, OpenCL using parallel processing. Uh, with FLTK, and we're also going to integrate uh, the new, uh, uh, it's been around for a while, it's called the Visualization Toolkit, or VTK, it's an open source software for manipulating and displaying scientific data, and it's, uh, it comes with a lot of cool stuff, a lot of the cool stuff uh, regarding 3D rendering and uh, 3D interaction. Um, plotting also. You could do uh, uh, really nice uh, interactive plots. And we're, we're going to be doing some of the examples and, and we're going to be writing some code. It's going to be done in C++. Uh, most of these libraries are all written in C++. Uh, and uh, they're very fast. And uh, we're going to make them even faster by using uh, some uh, tools of uh, OpenCL, uh, and uh, taking advantage of uh, our GPUs and how to control uh, our, our, you know, like whether you're using uh, an NVIDIA card. Right now I'm using an NVIDIA card, but we're going to be doing OpenCL on it instead of CUDA. Uh, why? Because uh, why CU uh, OpenCL and not CUDA, even though I have a NVIDIA graphics card? Because OpenCL is more inclusive, you can use OpenCL in many other graphics cards, and uh, and and you might have uh, you might not have an NVIDIA graphics card, you might have something else. So that's why I'm I'm sticking to OpenCL, and it's open source. And like always, we, I try to to do things that are open source and and free. So f to give you just a little. Uh, example, a little taste of what's coming. We're going to be learning how to uh, code uh, this type of uh, uh, images. Uh, here we're doing a, a texture cube with uh, some OpenGL uh, coloring and rendering and also how to incorporate an image in it. Uh, a little bit uh, more complicated, but it's still the, but we're going to go how to do this, how to bring the images and how to load them, how to load all, uh, use uh, different t types of image loaders, whether you're working with PNG, JPEG, BMP, or Targa, or any other type of images. There's a lot of uh, image loaders out there that you can uh, load them into, into your uh, applications. And uh, also we're going to be uh, using OpenCV. This is an OpenCV working together with VTK. And as you can see, you can have uh, a lot of control over the, the widgets. And, uh, and I'm going to show you how to also control images, whether uh, from a, a snapshot from a camera or uh, also video cameras. Uh, and, uh, and lastly, this is the VTK uh, scientific visualization toolkit that I was telling you. This is a very powerful, very well maintained. Uh, it's being used in many applications in uh, in in the scientific arena, with from medicine to physics, uh, all kinds of things. It's a very powerful um, library uh, toolkit and uh, very well maintained. A lot of great tutorials. A lot of great books out there, and uh, he, I trust me. I think uh, you will enjoy using, uh, learning how to use these, and uh, and and integrate them into all, some of your other applications. And uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be doing the installation. We're going to be doing. Uh, uh, hopefully, you already have OpenCV installed, so. Um, and you might already have FLTK installed. Uh, if you don't have Open uh, CV or Open uh, of FLTK installed, I I recommend that you watch some of my other videos where I, I have many videos where I show you how to download Open CV. And there's are many videos out there in the 
in uh, in the internet right now showing you how to how to do that also uh, but uh, uh, like I said uh, we're going to have fun in this uh, in this playlist in this thanks set of videos I will see you next time in uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be working with OpenGL because a lot of these libraries are are, are using the OpenGL uh, framework so we're going to start with that one first and then we'll go from there but uh, this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and follow me in github and uh, I will see you next time Thanks for watching. Take care.